Hello, it's Shante with Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorn. So, anyway, as I always talk about, I'm an artist. And um, here are some things that I've been making because I've been trying to sell, but I really don't. So, one thing I make is hat pins. And the reason why I started making these is because I was like, man, we need to start giving ourselves medals for different things. And why not do that in a stylish way? So, not only are they pins, like hat pins, I just enjoy putting pins on my clothes, like brooches. So, I make handmade brooches. And each brooch is made so that... Each brooch? No, each brooch. Not brooch. You know I'm not making brooches, child. But anyway, each brooch is made so that it's like a decoration. I said brooch. Brooch. Yeah, so each brooch is made so that a woman can decorate her hat, her coat, her shirt, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is like the first, this is one of them. Um, and I think I named them on a website. So I'll put the website below. But I really enjoy making these. And it's just like I take it and I just take old fabrics. I like vintage fabrics, so I use a lot of vintage vintage fabrics. If you're looking at the prices and different things like that, I use a lot of vintage materials. So they are vintage. Um, some materials are more expensive than others. Okay. And I like a lot of lace. Even the buttons in some of these are vintage. Like, for real, for real. Like, I think from the 40s or the 50s or something like that. So... And then, like, this one is not so. Like, I can't lie and be like, oh, this is vintage. No, I just got this at the Hobby Lobby store or something like that. So, anyway, um, they run from, like, anywhere from 10, 10 to, like, 85 bucks or something like that. So, yeah, these are just little medals that I have made to just give us, as women, like, some type of decoration. Something to say, I have made it through because, really... Especially as black women, like, I feel like we go to war every single day. Even when we don't want to be invited to the war, we are actually in the war. So, um, there we go. No, I'm saying that as black women, because people have so much discrimination against us first, that we just end up having a lot of trouble. with nobody like we don't even want you remember when that lady next door was trying to argue with me about stuff yeah and i and i didn't i want to everything that we've been through have i actually been a part i haven't been the person that started the argument you see what i'm saying so yeah it's like i don't know um every day i just like keep thinking about parts of this story and how these men have actually followed me and made my life a disgusting mess with their lies and interpretations of stories and all this different stuff. Um, with like everything, that's why they keep trying to argue and stuff because they got some type of app or something with the stories from college. Um, oh my God, some of these are absolutely gorgeous to me. So like this one, that's not one of my favorites. This one is like one. This collection that I'm about to bring out is like one of my favorites. So. Look at that, man. I just think that'll be, like, so dope on a coat. Like, even if I was to put it here on this, I love this. Like, I really do. Like, this right here, I love it. Um, Another one, I have to fix this one. I kind of messed it up. I like this one just because it makes me feel like it's, like, a flag or something hanging off your coat. Um, I like this one because it makes me feel like I'm in the U.K., I love that, and they, and they are sort of huge, like this is about probably like five inches long, this collection is, um, look at this one, and again, and then I like the backings too, because like what I try to do is like use the vintage materials on the back too, like maybe to cover up things, all the different stuff, but some of these, man, I just, oh my god, this one I love because, again, I like the vintage materials, and I love like see I like this I like the back these are I just love them I even think about man could you put them on your boot socks you know especially like the lace ones like this I love that um this one 
is a favorite of mine too. I like that one. Look at that. I love it. So yeah, this collection is like seriously one of my favorites. I don't know if this is a January. This is my later collection. This is when it wasn't. Uh... Anyway, yeah, I think this is either January or February collection. But um, it doesn't matter. I think I think on the site I call it like the elegant collection. So um, I really like those. And then the other one, these are just range, meaning that I was trying to get a feel of how I wanted them to be, and so they just came out how they came out. Like this one, I love it again because this blue and white is like one of those old vintage kitchen kitchen fabrics, you know. Uh, this pen is part of a vintage collection or something like that. Um, I like this one because it's like, think of this with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans or something like that. Something simple, a nice skirt. Even if you wanted to use it to like tie up the side of your shirt, that's very cute. Um, these have become my favorites. Like I like this for a boot sock. You know, just to go on the outside of a boot or something like that. I think the pins are very sturdy because I, I actually use like I actually use a couple now. So they usually stay on and I think I some of them are secure but if I if I feel like it might if, if you come if it, if I, I send it to you and it has like a little piece in the back it's just so it stays secure. Um like even this one I like this. This is quite elegance collection too. I like the spikes, you know, because it's like stay the fuck away from my heart. Like don't break my heart. Or I will fuck you up. So, you know, again, that's like, yo. Um, this one, too, has spikes. I love that one. Just because of the colors. I think it's, like, cool for the holiday, you know. Again, just to put on, like, the side of a hat. That would be gorgeous. Even on this one. You see how it just changes the range of it? Like, even this one. Like, okay, this is a light day. Late, like, a dainty day. And maybe I need a hat at night. So now I could just, like, switch it up. Um, this one I like because it's like my grandma mom, and I would just love to see that on a young person. Like this is like I think even though it looks like a little dated or whatever, it still is vintage here, uh, the fabric here too. But it's almost like you, you like it's like a young person's thing. Like let me show you. Like I can see this on the side of a purse, on a scarf, something like that. Something really soft because it's such a hard fabric. Um. I love this one too. The only thing about this one is, is that it's open. And you can see the later layers. So it makes me like this reminds me of an onion. I probably should have named it onion pen, but I love this one too. It's lovely. I have another collection of wrist um of little wrist things, you know, like little wristlets. So I'll show those one day too. I like this one too. Um it was just playing around. And I don't know. I have to take away for this up here. I might end up changing this in some kind of way. I don't think this design is complete just because of her. But then again, it's almost like if you're a painter, no. I think some of those little details you start to appreciate. Um, yeah. I love it. I really do. I even like the little, like I made sure I put a little dime in here. And again, like I like kind of embellished the back too, just so you know about the you know the flaws all those different things but I love these and I'm such a person of I always like to put something in the back of my art with these I'm still learning so um, hopefully they just get better I think but I love this idea I love the style I love the venti vintage parts of it um, so yeah please if you get a chance it's on they are on by Black Unicorns website under art sale and they are there for sale and you can just click on them and put them in a cart and I'll send it to you um that's it yeah so that's it for this show today cuz I think today I'm just like cleaning house like just trying to see how much how far can I go with just trying to get myself out as an artist as the person I am I think I was more inspired by Afropunk too like Afropunk is just 
it's such a beautiful thing. And it's like, man, if I would have really thought about it, I probably could have set up an online store at AfroPunk, but I, I didn't know. I had no clue. Um, yeah, so that's cool, too. These are free. Like, if somebody can just, if you pay for shipping and handling, I will send them to you. I really would. If you like them, if you, or even if you like one of those, I'll, I'll send these to you. And I'll try to put a little message or something on the back. But I like these. It's just that they, they get so sticky that you have to be, like, really delicate with them. Um, like, even this one has to be cleaned or whatever because the paper got stuck to it. So, these are gorgeous. I like these, but like I said, it's like they just get so sticky and I would have to like wrap it or something or something maybe a plastic I guess these some of these pins that I made so yeah if you like those I'll send them to you. but anyway yes it is Shantae brown sugar talk and the black unicorns telling you to please 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 have a beautiful beautiful day um if you like the sticky ones just message me I'll try to get them to you but yeah please have a beautiful day and if we send it by a different kind of meal. I think you get it like free or something like that. It's like so cheap. So yeah, if you you having problems and you want to get them, guess what? I'll help. So yeah, anyway, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk having, uh, telling you to just check out my store. Uh, check out some products. See if you like them. Check out your what? Oh, okay. Check out my merch. And uh, see if you like those things. And thank you so much for listening and participating with it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.